everyone, if you see me eating something, I have a sore throat. I'm eating a lozenges right now. Today I'm going to do a review on Osley products. I bought this because as you guys know, I'm having a few issues with my skin uh, due to uh, my chicken pox. I wanted to lighten my scars as well as trying to brighten my skin again. Um, right now I have a few here and here and here. As you can see, it's not really working. But I'll tell you more uh, as I explain through each and every one of the products. If I'm looking right here, it's because I I have a few sticky notes um, on this uh, so that I don't forget any uh, important things that I want to convey to you whilst doing this video. On Osley's website, it says Rose Hip is effective to reduce wrinkles and tackles aging skin problems. Other skin care benefits include repairing skin, restore the healthy skin structure, stimulate the skin self rejuvenation and skin becoming smooth and glowy, activate the production of collagen, leaving skin firm and reducing wrinkles, moisturize the deeper layer of skin and reducing pore size, restrain the damage of free radicals to skin, delaying anti-aging process, lighten pigmentation with whitening effect. Now the rose hip range that I have at the moment, there's only two products of it. I have the rose hip beauty solution advanced formula 3 and this one is uh, the peeling gel it says it removes cuticles I don't think it is supposed to remove cuticles as in the cuticles of your hands what they mean is that the first layer of the skin something like that or the dead skin cells another two of the um, Osley product is the clear spa sleeping mask and this one is the Osley UV block powder it is the UV white it has SPF 20 now let's start off with the beauty solution advanced formula 3 now this one costs $59.90 each it is supposed to give extra moisturization to give extra whitening um, UV oxy protection Pro refining and blackhead reducing, enhance absorption ability, which is what I wanted in the first place. I'll let you know um, a bit more later. And then it's uh, multifunction. I think it's uh, multifunction because you can uh, place it all over the face as well as on the body after shower. And it's also relaxing because of the rose hip scent. Now let's start off with cons. This stuff breaks me out like crazy. I had cystic acne after using this a few times. This could have been um, just water in this bottle, rose scented water in this bottle. The reason why I said that is because there is no difference um, in the absorption of the serum that I use or the moisturizer that I use after I use this uh, and then it's slightly expensive which is at 50 ringgit 90 cent and this is sold in Guardian which is not really um, not something to look forward to uh, when you are in Guardian because when you are in Guardian, Guardian is a drugstore um, you want to find a slightly cheaper product so this is a 59 ringgit 90 cent which is very expensive um, comparing to other things I think it will cost less in other countries of course this is also not travel friendly because the bottle is made from glass okay um, so it's easily dented if you, I don't know whether you can see it see that um, if it's dropped it's dented the cap will be dented. I have not experienced this um, to be broken or leaking. Oh, speaking about leaking. When I open this um, cap the first time, there's a stopper right here. See, when I pull it off, 
as the stopper right there and the product comes out like this okay so if you don't have that stopper it's going to leak everywhere so you have to have this stopper every time you cannot lose this stopper it smells nice but it doesn't do anything to the skin now when it says it, enhance, it enhances absorption ability after you've already cleansed your skin um, you pat this on the skin and then immediately after that you put on the serum or moisturizer what this product does is that it's supposed to um, make sure that the whatever benefits that you get from the serum it is absorbed into the skin at least um, maybe 60 or 80 percent of it but it didn't do anything to me at all so this was a huge fail because it broke me out like crazy um, but it didn't to my sister um, I have a slightly uh, oily t-zone with um, with dry skin on my uh, cheeks um, I'm not quite sure what her not quite sure what um, she has <laughs> she has acne um, acne prone skin and so far this doesn't break ah, this broke you out yeah so this broke her out too so anyone. So I wouldn't recommend it to anyone since she said um, that broke her out as well. So I don't recommend it to anyone to use this. So what are the pros? I don't think there are any, but pros is only um, the fact that it's lightly um, scented with rose hip, and that's it. Um, it just smells nice. The next thing um, that I want to review is the peeling gel. Um, this costs $44.90 in Guardian. Uh, this is supposed to deep cleanse, decompose cuticles and blackheads. With micro seaweed um, peeling element, it decomposes extra grease and dead skin cells. Cleanse skin deeply skin becomes translucent white and with even skin tone for continuous use and penetrate into pores and dissolves blackhead refines uh, pores too well, now what are the cons it takes a bit longer to see it removes the blackhead and dead skin it has very minor peeling I would have preferred buying the Ginvera Marvel Gel. I was using it um, when I was a teenager and I remember that it worked very well but it cost a lot more back then right, um, compared to now because there's a lot more peeling gel in the market. They brought down the price a little bit but I would have preferred to use Ginvera Marvel Gel compared to this. The Ginvera Marvel Gel works very fast and the dead skin comes out in clumps. You can actually see it, um, you know, there's big clumps on your face when you remove it um, with the Ginvera Marvel Gel. And it's far cheaper too. This is great for those who have sensitive skin, um, I think, because I have sensitive skin too. But it doesn't do much for my skin. You use it, according to this, it's two to three times a week just massage it all over the face concentrating on the t-zone now what are the pros since it's a minor peeling um, you can use it more often within a week but try not to exceed the limitations on the product which is two to three times a week only okay so the product looks like this Ooh, it's quite slippery so what you do is you do that on your skin. Not quite sure if you can see that, but see that white thing right there? Let's see. Let's see whether I can give you a see? There's a few dead skin cells, but it's very minor, very little um peeling. The next one is the Clear Spa Sleeping Mask 
and this one comes um, in a blue gel and there's a lid here I've used this quite a bit let me tell you what it is for it is supposed to purify hydrate relax the skin it has antioxidant um, it has a licorice extract and vitamin E which avoids skin from oxidation and provides skin with extra moisture overnight I'll start with cons first uh, my skin feels extremely sticky um, after using this and I cannot over apply this if I do then you know it's going to look like I have a greasy face by the time I'm finished with um, applying this I would have to wait a while before sleeping because my skin would stick to the uh, pillow because it's really really sticky there's a few pros to this item uh, it feels like it has become a barrier or shield that locks in the benefits of the serum or moisturizer that I used before applying the mask the skin feels uh, really moisturized in the morning uh, so I like this um, would I buy it again probably not because um, I think that is extremely sticky and I think I want to try Ruko's night jelly um, which is I think around the same price as this one I think it's much cheaper I think it's about 39 ringgit for Naruko's night jelly hmm. I think so so mm. I wouldn't buy this again it costs 59 ringgit 90 cent which is pricey the last item uh, from Osley is the UV block powder um, it comes in this pink packaging which is cute um, this costs 50 ringgit each um, it's small it comes with a puff now what it does is that um, it is for whitening um, it has fresh UV block it has an SPF of 20 and then it's oil controlling and also it smoothens the skin cons this powder is extremely chalky let me show you it is a oh my god you see it is very very um, messy it is yellow in color and it's extremely chalky I'll show you a swatch it's not really finely milled see it's extremely chalky it's really hard to blend and it smells horrible it gives a white cast to the skin as well um, because I think of the UV and the packaging is not travel friendly because the sifter holes are too big see see that is too big um, and the product is just so messy it's all over the place there is supposed to be a powder puff in here but I have dropped that puff if I want to buy an extra puff it would cost 9 ringgit 90 cent um, no I'm not interested um, I think that that's too much to pay for a powder puff um, and then the powder puff is not useful at all because when it applies the powder it applies it too thick um, and like I said it's the powder is very hard to blend so when you try to um, blend it out you are just putting more on so what I did was that after I've already applied the, it with the puff I had to blend it out with a brush so now that I have dropped the puff I have to use this with a brush what can I say about the, the pros for this product it mattifies the skin that's all I think that overall I don't like this range it's a it's a real fail for me uh, I would probably give it a 2 out of 10 I'm not interested to try out any of the other um, Osley uh, products at all I just had a very bad experience with it so I'm not at all interested if you've 
considered in the past or present to buy any of the Osley products. Um, I hope that it has been beneficial for you, whether you know you still want to try it out. It depends on you. This is just my own personal experience of the product, as well as my sister's, um, if you can hear our conversation just now. Um, so I don't like it at all. Uh, so a no for me. I hope this video has been helpful and informative to you. And let me know if you do try out any of the Osley products. Let me know if you have you have had a good experience with it. You guys take care and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!